In trying to sell the story about Australian history and the colonial history of Australia, we focused on bush rangers, simply because there was so much written about them. Their court proceedings, their lives, it was so well researched in the last 150 years, it was easy to bring that together, together and understand it. But what about the men that would have to bring these men to justice? What sort of men were they? What were their lives like? What happened to them? And when you go through the archives and you go through records, it's really hard to find out what they were like because there's not much written about them. Sometimes it's not even a photo unless they've got tangled up with a bush ranger and finished up in the paper or they did something incredibly stupid. So it was time for us to try to balance that out and Frederick Pottinger was the obvious choice for the reasons that he appears in that piece of history so predominantly with Ben Hall and Frank Gardner and John Gilbert. But he wrote a diary. He gave us six months of his life that we could understand what sort of man he was. And in that diary, he explains where he came from. He talks about who he was before he came to the colony and took on this role. On this day, the 29th anniversary of the deadline birth, I hear this commence and propose henceforth keeping a diary a record of everyday occurrences in my life. I say more particularly every day, believing as I do, that an arithmetic the merest ciphers mainly contribute to the sum total. Up to town to see Mrs. F. Starting telegram, Jack and Johnny, two of our mates, ordered off the billabong 25 miles up the country, so that Mac and I are left alone here. The corporal living under canvas with his wife. Our mates discussed it as well they may be. After dinner, wrote the Governor-General, enclosed Sir F.P.'s letter of introduction and simply stated my case, soliciting his interest in behalf of a son of an old fellow servant of the state. 